Hey guys, today we're gonna be building a tag component using React and it's gonna look something like this. So we're gonna have a few tags here and then we can add tags, we can edit tags, we can remove them completely. Let's add another tag and let's try to edit this. So let's do one, two, three here and we can separate them with, uh, if we click enter, it's gonna add it and also if we click comma, it's gonna add it as well. And then if we do backspace, we can edit it here or we can completely remove it. So I'm going to be doing this on code sandbox here. And the first thing we want to do is we want to import your state. Oops. And then here at the top, we want to make few variables just so we can check for the key codes easily. So the first one is going to be enter. That's going to be 13. Then we're gonna have a comma, so comma, it's gonna be 188. And we're also gonna have backspace, and that's gonna be 8. And we'll need to make uh, two states. One of them is gonna be for this input, that's gonna let us add. And the other one is gonna be a state for the tags. State that's gonna keep all the tags we have. So we're gonna call that tags, set tags, and we wanna set it to use state. We're gonna set it to an array, and we're gonna add HTML, CSS, React. You guys can add anything, and you can also leave this empty if you didn't wanna show anything here. And our next state is gonna be for our input value, so we're just gonna call it value, set value. And initially, we're just gonna set this to an empty string. And then a few functions we're gonna need. So the first one is gonna be on candle key up. So candle key up. And that's gonna be on our input. So let's just add an input here. Actually, we're gonna add it later, it's fine. But we're going to pass an event here. We're going to make a variable that's going to be called key and that's going to be equal to our event dot key code. Just so we can make it a bit shorter. And then here we want to check if key is equal to enter. So this is the variable we made. So we're going to do or key is equal to comma. So in both cases, we if we either hit enter or comma, we want to add uh, a tag. So inside of this, we're going to call a function, which is going to be called add tag. So we didn't create that yet. I'll just add it here and comment it out for now. So that's going to be our handle key up function. Then we're going to need a function for key down. So we're going to go handle key down. We're also going to pass event. And again, we're going to do cons key equals to event dot key code. And then here we can check if key is equal to backspace, which is our last variable here that we made. So if key is equal to backspace and there's no value, we want to call another function, which is going to edit our tag. So we're just going to call it edit tag here and I'm going to comment it out just so this doesn't break since we don't have a function yet. And then we're gonna need two more functions. So these ones that we have here, so add tag and edit tag, we need to create these. We're gonna do add tag. And inside of that, we're gonna do let tag equals, we're gonna do value, which is our input state dot string. That's just gonna check if it's empty. And we're going to do dot replace and what we want to replace, we want to replace a comma and we want to replace it with a space or an empty string rather. And then here we want to check if there's no tag, we just want to return and exit out of the function. And finally we want to set our state which is tags and set tags. So we're going to use that function set tags. We're going to get use the spread operator to get all the previous tags and we're gonna pass this variable we made which is tag this one right here 
And then finally, once we add the tag, we also want to clear the input. So we can just set value and we can set it to an empty string. So this is going to be our add function. And then we can comment this out. And another function we need to make is for editing, which is edit tag. We added it here. So we're going to do const edit tag. We'll make it an arrow function. But since this function is only going to have a single line, we can also remove the curly braces here. And the only thing we want to do here is update our value. So we're going to call this function here on line 21. So every time we click, we press backspace key, there's no value. We're calling this function. And inside of that function, we want to get tags and use the method of pop. And that's going to be it for this function. So pop is going to remove the last element of array and it's going to return that. That's what we want to do here when we add it. And then we can remove the h1 and h2. And inside of this, we want to add a div with a class name of container. Let's close that. And we made a state which is tags. So this contains all the tags we're going to have. So since it, since it's an array, we're going to need to map here inside this container. So we're going to do tags.map for each tag. And then what we want to return here, we can return a div with class name of tag. And then inside that div, we just want to return that tag. And then here, uh, I always forget to add an index that we, we need to use for a key since we're inside a map. So we're going to do key equals index for this div. Remove this so you guys can see. So something like this. And then under our map, so line 41, after that, we want to add that input. That's going to allow us to add stuff. And I'll just move this to the next line because we're going to have a few things here. We're going to have type of text. We're going to have a placeholder, which is going to be add tag. We're going to have auto focus. So then it's going to focus when the, when the page loads. Then we need to add the value. So our value is going to be the state we made, which is value. Then we're going to have on change event. We're going to pass E as event. And then we're going to set the value to e.target.value. I'm not sure why it switched there. So e.target.value here. And then we made the functions. One is gonna be for key up and one is gonna be for key down. So we wanna add both of those functions on our input. So it's gonna be on key up. And we can call this function, which is handle key up. And we're going to have another one, which is on key down. And here we want to call this function, which is handle key down. And now if we reload the page, this should be focused. If we add something, if we click, for example, backspace, it adds it. If we do enter, it adds it as well. If we try submitting an empty input, we can't do that. And then if we click uh, backspace, we can edit this one. If we, we can remove it completely by removing everything. So everything works as expected. And the last thing is just adding styles. So this project is already finished. Everything works. But if you guys want to follow along, I'm going to be adding some styles here. So box size in border box and then remove margin and padding from all the elements. And we're going to have a font family of sans serif. Then we can target our app. We're going to make it full width and height here. And we are going to add a background that's going to be FA, FA, FA. And we also want to add display flex here. That's going to help us center our container. So let's target the container here. So margin auto to center it. 
then we're gonna make it 100% and we're gonna limit the width to like 700 pixels you guys can change this to whatever you like we're gonna add some padding of 12 pixels background is gonna be white we're gonna have some box shadow as well so we're gonna have RGBA 0 0 0 Then here we want to do the same thing again, 0, 3, 6, RGPA, we close this so you guys can see it. So 0, 0, and then lastly we want to have 0 0.23. Then we want to add the display plaques here to put them into a row. We want to align them to center. And we're also going to add flex wrap. So once they don't have enough space, they're going to wrap under each other. And I'll show you that in a second. Then we can target our tag. Add a margin of 5 pixels. Adding 6 pixels top and bottom and 14 for left and right. We're going to add some type of blue background. Color is going to be white. And we want to add a border radius of 50 pixels. Border. And then last thing we want to target here is our input. So we want to remove the border. So border none, also outline none. We're gonna add a padding of 5 pixels, 10 pixels. Color is gonna be 777. And we're gonna have a font size of 16 pixels. And those are all the styles we're gonna have as well. So now the project is complete. If we reload the page, this should get focused. If we try adding like hello world, we do comma, it should add it. If we do hello and we hit enter, it should add it as well. So what happens if we don't have any more space? I'll try to show you that. So it switches to a new line here. That's why we added a flex wrap. So every time they don't have space to wrap next to each other, they're gonna go on the new line. So if we add E here, it's still gonna add it there because it's a single letter and it still has space. But if we, for example, remove that and we did this, it's gonna add it here. So yeah, that would be it for this project guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.